Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to look at the different ways of how we can sort a table. So let's first start with the basic sort in Tableau. So over here, we have a table with just one column and one measure values. So how we can sort this table is go on to the column header over here. And when you hover over this column header, you will see this A to Z arrow over here. And when you click up and down, you will see that this table has been sorted based on this column by the alphabetical order of the value in this category. So we now have a to Z and we switch it the other way around we have from the descending alphabetical order so now let's add a second column which is our subcategory so now we can also do the same we can click on this A to Z to sort our column and you see what happens here is that this sorting is bounded by the first column over here so this sort will only sort within this column itself so if we sort this this will sort from A to Z based on whatever's in this column but not based on the entire column over here. This way of sorting is not very useful because most of the time it does not make sense for us to sort this by alphabetical order. Maybe what makes more sense is I want to sort it by the profit. So what we can do here is to do a nested sort. So to do that we just need to right click on this and select on sort. This will allow us to have the option to do a nested sort. And we want to sort this by profit. And the aggregation is by sum, which is correct. And you see that this is not sorted by profit. Why is that the case? Is because we are sorting by this first column over here. So now let me bring in this subtotal so you can understand what I mean. So by adding this subtotal, you will now see that this has been sorted based on this value over here. The descending of this sum of the profit based on the first column category over here. To sort it by this subcategory, we can do the same thing over here and we want it to be sorted by profit again and we can do descending. Again, this sorting will be bounded by whatever is in the first column here and we will only see the sort within this boundary of first column. So now let's say we have a scenario that we want to sort this column on the entire table. How can we do that? So one way we can work around is that we take a copy of this subcategory, we can hit on control, drag it across to before category. So now what it does is that it will sort based on this column first. So now you will see that this is sorted to what we want. We want it to be on this subcategory column over here. However, you'll see that this table is very ugly, not formatted right. So what we can do is to maybe hide this header. But by doing this, you'll notice that our subcategory column over here disappeared as well. So maybe the other way we can do this is to duplicate this subcategory and we drag this in front here instead. And let's remove this one. Now we want this to be sorted by the profit. So now we will have exactly what we want. And then we can hide this header and this will work. The problem with using this method is that now we can no longer have our subtotal working as we wanted because the category will be in different order and it does not make sense for the table to show a subtotal. For the purpose of this example, we're going to disable our subtotal. Now we are able to sort this table based on the second column over here. So now what we are doing so far is to manually set up what we want specifically to sort this table by. We want to sort by the second column, that's why we bring this copy here. So now let's say if I collapse this table and I want it to be sort by the technology only. And you will notice that what happens is that it has still the details of this subcategory category over here and it is sorting based on this subcategory and that's not what we want. We want to be able to have 
the category collapsed and showing only the total of this category. So we are going to learn how we can make this table and sorting more dynamic. What we're going to do is to first create a parameter and let's call this sorted by. And we want to give a list of value over here. So say for example, category and then subcategory. Okay, now instead of using this subcategory here, we are going to create a calculated view. We're going to use our case statement when it is category, then we're going to select category when it is subcategory, then we are going to select subcategory. Now we're going to replace this with our calculated field here and we are going to do the same. We are still going to sort this based on the nested value over here by the sum of profit and then we are going to hide our header over here. So now this allow us to be able to still expand this table over here and based on this sorted option over here, we can now have the option to say I want to sort this by category first which is this first column or say for example I want to sort this by subcategory instead. And when we collapse this, you'll see that this is still picking up the subcategory and we can then select on this category so that we can get the aggregated table that we wanted. So now we have learned how to use the parameter to select the column we want to sort by. We can also add another value into this. So now let's say I have sales. So of course you also can use the column header icon over here to sort this manually. But we want to learn how we can use parameter to do so. The idea is the same, we're going to use a parameter to allow us to select the sorted value. So first let's create a parameter, let's call this measure value. So we're going to create some options, maybe profit and we also want to have sales. Now the next step here is then of course to create the calculated field. We have measure value sort. So case, when the measure value sorted by, when it is profit, then profit, when it is sales, then sales. So with this here, we can then set up this nested sort over here and go to sort. And here, instead of using profit, I want to use the measure value sort. So now we can use the parameter to select which measure values we want to sort by. We can then select we want to sort by the second column and then we can say we want to sort by sales or either we want to sort by profit. If you like this, do remember to like, share and subscribe to support this channel.